I'm Alex and this is Justin and we've taken time out of our working lives in Sydney to travel to some of Australia's most remote and beautiful places in our modified four-wheel drive and we're filming our adventure along the way. So we are back with John in the background. Um, we couldn't pass up off the opportunity for a bit more four-wheel driving so we are doing the Maytown to Laura Old Coach Road track. Yep. Just the two cars this time around. Hope to get some good footage. First step, air down. And yes, Justin has still got that bloody stick. We're missing a fork and a whole lot of other things, but he's still got his wooden stick. And my jandals are somewhere in Mount Isa. Yeah. Yep, that should be good. So it's been an absolutely stunning drive so far, over the mountain, over the range, whatever range we're on. The dirt range. We've just stopped for some lunch by a lake, whatever lake it might be. The wet lake. The wet lake. Um, we have a wrap, John's baking some wraps over here. And then we'll crack on to Maytown, ruins maybe. Yeah, it's an old gold mining town isn't it? I don't know. Town in dirt hills near a wet lake. Mm. It's good fun. We've made it to Maytown yep. without dying of dust poisoning in the car. It's pretty bad. Yeah, she's dusty. She's got pretty hot. I had to put my shorts on. We're just going to explore. John's going to go on to check out the other creek crossing because he's been around Maytown, Maytown a few times before. And we're just going to explore. Yeah. Um, we've yeah. got the old guttering and then they tell you what was here. So this was Sun Yi Li store and an ancient bottle, glass bottle. There's, there's not a whole lot left in Maytown, but uh, yeah, I mean, not much survives in the harsh environment out here. So Yeah, there's one shed over there. Not many of the houses remain, but I think we will go on the way back out to find camp and explore some of the old mining tools, which I think yeah, remains. There's an old stamp stamper which i want to see which is the machine they used to use to break the quartz up to get the gold out of it i think there's an old boiler so yeah just going for an explore it's weird being back in gold fields again isn't it yeah back in the middle of nowhere and it's dry and dusty the only remaining shed here we go here's the information Do you have a northern? In my car, yes. In this pile of artifacts, no. I'll just have a water, please, ma'am. Here you go, sir. It's Thank cold you. and everything. What's in the hole? Bunch of sticks. Bunch of sticks? Yeah. What used Bunch to be in the hole? Bunch of burnt sticks. <laughs> what type they, of stick? They turned them into coal <laughs> and used them in a mine. What type of stick? Um, 
Iron stone iron and tea bark tree. and tea it tree. It would have smelt good. Tea isn't tree. isn't iron bark the one that's really poisonous? No. No, no that's Which the one's other that? one. The one that's really heavy. Oh, it's oh. A North Queensland. We learned about it on our cobalt tree. tour. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we, aka John, has found a perfect campsite right on the water, and someone's even left a whole load of firewood for us. So we just got some kindling, by we I mean John and Justin, and <laughs> we might go for a swim before we set the fire on fire. With the crocs. With the crocs, yeah. I'm going with the dinosaur. No, you're going in your sheet, okay. I'm going in the dinosaur. Just hold it in a spot. Yeah, properly going. Oh, like the grass will do it for us. Jesus. Yeah, I reckon so. I don't know. Sometimes grass just burns itself out. Yeah, sometimes. It's time to go for a swim, but I'm waiting for John because I'm scared. There's a few freshies and and things. But I got a beer, that's the important thing. Justin's got a join up, but it means he won't be in it himself. <laughs> so we yeah, are in get to the track. We're in Maytown. John's taking us on an adventure. We're in an awesome free camp just outside the national park. Yep. Um, on the river. Justin's in his dinosaur. And tomorrow we're doing the old Cape Road. That's the correct one, isn't it? It's the correct. hardest track in Cape York. <laughs> Supposedly, but it's not. We're gonna try and find some old mining stuff. <laughs> and then what's the hardest bit of the track, John? Rock oh, the rock step at the, the rock step. Fall, I think it's the Folgers Hotel oh, site. Okay. I've probably got that name wrong. But. Oh, we always get every name wrong with every one. <laughs> <laughs> We're at some park in some state. Um, so winch is probably going to be used tomorrow. 100%. Um, and yeah. we'll try and film 100%. it. And we'll try and narrate a bit better than what you might have just watched on YouTube. <laughs> Who knows? Um, Who knows? But yeah. we're going to chill out. Have some grub by the Keep fire. <laughs> and maybe cheers a beer. Woohoo! <laughs> to making friends at the Simpson Desert, hey? Yeah. <laughs> beer o'clock. See you later. All right. It's only because one of my mates lost his eyebrows because we were throwing petrol at a fire once. <laughs> right, ready? Yeah. Yeah? So I can not destroy myself with smoke. Half frozen, but she'll be right. It's only frozen until they get cooked. That's right. So after an awesome camp, 
We were up a bit later than planned. We went to leave by eight, it's now 8.45. Um, and we're off to a couple of the mine sites that we didn't see yesterday before we tackle the old coach road. Yeah. Which I've only just been told is meant to be the hardest track in the Cape York, in the yeah, York. I kept that one quiet for a bit. I don't think it would be that bad. There's one section where we're definitely not driving and we'll winch. But, uh, I thought this was just like another kind of okay, easy forward drive track that we're exploring. Not, it's the hardest! We've got to do the hard things. Um, um, but, but yeah, yeah. hope you're doing it in a day. Yeah, it should be good. We'll go check out mines, have a look at some. Hopefully, there's a bit more like information or history floating around. There's not a lot left out here. I feel like the natural environment has reclaimed most of it. The natural environment is stunning, though. So even if there was no mine site out here, I'd come. Yeah, it's been a good drive. Um, but yeah, we'll try and film what we can. There's a nice night by the fire last night, and uh, we'll try and make it to almost Laura tonight. See how we go. Wild. What are the bits in the middle? Supports? Um, blades? I, mean, I can tell the Great Northern. Yeah, I'll have a look at the other side and I'll see. So I think are it's we? Ida Mine. Woohoo! You remembered. I think that's just like a big trommel, the rock crushing trommel. Or it's because that's never been sealed. I reckon stuff went through and it's off center. But we're going bubble, bubble, bubble. What? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Okay, thank you. Battery. Somehow, I don't know why. It's a big beard of metal. I think it's because it batters things. Yeah. You put your shit in there and they go bang and it make gold. Yeah. What have you learnt? Uh, reef mining was really unsuccessful here. Most of the gold was alluvial. I had a couple of these big um, engines that ran like shafts, but mm. chasing reef gold was not a great thing. Cool. Good mm. summary. And it was all around the 18s, and they brought all this stuff in on bullock and horseback and wheelbarrow. Mm. I'm just reading that. that thing we saw before, the thing we saw before, a stamp battery, crushed the ore in the mortar box, much like a mortar and pestle. Yeah, okay. That's exactly what I said, it crushed the corpse and then you pulled gold out. Yeah. After a couple of kilometres down the track, Prado came to an abrupt stop in what was a little bit too much for an ambitious rut for me to get through. So John got out, packed a few rocks and we carried on our way.
What are you thinking, Jay? Just to give on up? After we eventually wobbled the Prado up the hill, it was John's turn to have a go. At first he tried that middle, steeper line, but uh, no luck there, John. So he came up that right hand side and made it look pretty damn easy. Thanks for watching, join us next time as we drive up some cliffs and rocks and whatnot and one of us needs to winch but it might not be who you think it is but I might have just given that away. Anyways, we find a great camp and it's a great adventure. <laughs>